going on, go down, family. It's your boy Kiko Dummy or something. Back with another reaction, man. I'm back with another reaction. Look, bro, off the rip. At 15K, we doing a giveaway and we giving away $50 on top of that. It's two giveaways going on and we selecting four winners. If you want to see what's involved in the other giveaway, click on my channel, go to the community tab, and you will see it. Or you can go on my IG. My IG link is in the description below. Make sure you follow my IG, follow my Twitch, because I'm going live Saturday on Twitch, bro. Y'all need to get, you know what I'm saying? I need more viewers on Twitch and join the reddit the links to all that is in the description below and make sure you hit the like button and turn on the post notification bell because i upload every single day i don't miss no days the grind don't stop bro. look today's video it might be a little off topic because we be reacting to like you know funny stuff and all that this video should be like motivation and like you know what i'm saying here and there. I, I don't know how to explain it but we finna look at Lamelo ball 10 million dollar mansion bro and y'all leave down below in the comments like would y'all want to stay in the mansion or just a regular house i would want to stay in the mansion bro because i ain't gonna lie like i know my worth and i know i work hard like i really feel like i deserve a mansion bro because no nah, i really deserve more subscribers and more viewers bro because i be who upload more than me come on now who upload more than me? who do reactions on the daily bro who be like who really doing this let me not get off topic bro let me just you know what i'm saying let's just get on to the video my time gonna come on I, I just know my time gonna come but yeah when i hit the play button hit the sub button bro this 25,000 square foot mega mansion is now home to Hornets rookie LaMelo Ball. The mansion is truly a one of a kind piece of luxury real estate. Bought by LaMelo for slightly over $10 million, his new home features 11 bedrooms, 18 bathrooms, a ma 18 bathrooms what are you what are you gonna do with 18 bathrooms bro? An indoor pool and even comes with its own helicopter the backyard what? features a resort-like spa area and a private beach spanning half the length of a football field but before we give you an exclusive look inside lamello's new mega mansion please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new yeah he's talking about my channel content. bro so, so right now first off the mansion is located in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and was recently purchased by Mello back in January of 2021. He is expected to pay $107,000 per year in property taxes due Jeez. to the home's location and value, which shouldn't be a problem considering he already has a net worth of $140 million. What? Eh. This man is my age, bro. This man is my age living life. Like, around my age, I think. I don't know. But this man is living life already, bro. At 19 years old. Now, let's begin at the entrance. Walking in, you've got 30-foot ceilings and are greeted with a grand double bridal staircase. And if you look up, you can see Mello's custom-built diamond chandelier, which he reportedly paid $600,000 for. Yeah, they gotta be From real From the diamond. entrance, the home flows into a 300-person ballroom that includes floor to ceiling glass windows looking out at the North Atlantic Ocean. The mansion also has its own helipad. So whether Mello wants to arrive home by car, water, or the sky, he can. And when you have a home of this caliber, I'd say it's good to have options on how you arrive. He's only 19 people. He's only 19, bruh. This man is only 19. Moving on to the kitchen area, you can see just how spacious this place is. The kitchen is state-of-the-art featuring a bar, a wine refrigerator, double sub-zero sinks, and wolf stoves. The kitchen appliances alone cost Mello a light 100000 He also yeah, has an in chef the Hornets um... hired for him to help him eat healthier. The kitchen also has its own living room area with a huge flat-screen TV and a wraparound patio outside. Going upstairs to the master bedroom, when you first walk in, you are greeted by an incredible view overlooking the Atlantic. And going outside to the bedroom balcony, you can see the entire outdoor spa area, which LaMelo titled Atlantis. The bedroom's bathroom is covered in expensive marble and features a massive steam shower that has 12 different sprays and built-in speakers for music. The bathroom also overlooks the 3,000 square foot indoor pool area, which has its own entertainment center and gym. When LaMelo first bought the house, this area was actually something completely different. 
After buying the mansion, Mello had this entire indoor pool area custom built. It is said that this area alone cost him an additional $1.2 million to build. In that area, it's so far, bro. But judging by the way it turned out, we'd say it was definitely worth the extra million. Yeah. Now, after you get done swimming in the indoor pool, you can take the elevator down to the basement and watch your favorite. This man has an elevator. This man has an elevator in his house, bro. In his Moves mansion. In My field, bad, Melo. It's has a mansion. 12 My bad. Really expensive crocodile leather seats that sit on stadium seating, so everyone in the theater can see the screen. Other than the theater, Melo's basement is mostly empty for now. But That's according the to Yahoo Sports. Mello has plans of building an indoor bowling alley and a nightclub in his 8,000 square foot basement. Wow. Now, this isn't just any regular mansion though. LaMelo's wow. mansion is actually right next to his new boss, Michael Jordan. Oh. This man is living next to a goat. This man is living next to the greatest of all time. This man is living next to Michael Jordan. The Michael Jordan, bro. ...of the Charlotte Hornets. But people close to Mello said that Michael actually talked him into buying the mansion. He didn't want the young point guard throwing any crazy parties or doing anything stupid that could possibly ruin his promising NBA career. Which is why he wanted Mello to buy the neighboring mansion so he could keep a close eye on him. LaMelo's $10 million mansion also includes an eight-car garage that stores his stacked $1 million car collection. Inside LaMelo's car collection is a new 2021 Lamborghini truck that he bought a few months after being drafted. Ooh, it is said that he clean, dropped a boy. whopping $350,000 on the new so Lamborghini truck. Melo also went the extra mile and fully upgraded his Lamb truck with nitrous and a custom orange paint job. Melo has Jeez. also been seen driving a brand new $450,000 Rolls Royce truck, which was a draft guy gift from his older brother, Lonzo. His dad, LeVar, also gifted him a 2020 Lamborghini Huracan, which reportedly cost $250,000. Now, with all these expensive cars sitting in his garage, you'd think he'd buy some hefty security, right? But instead of getting a regular security team like most celebrities would, uh -huh. Mello went ahead and bought two Rottweilers to protect his massive estate. He reportedly paid a total Dude, of $10,000 for both his Rottweiler puppies. But perhaps the most interesting thing about this is that Mello actually bought both his Rottweilers a fully iced out diamond dog chain collar with their names engraved in the chains. Bro, are you serious? It is said that each- <laughs> Alright, bro, now this, is, this man, hey, this man just got money just to do that. Like, come on now. And cost LaMelo $50,000, totaling $100,000 on just two dog chains. When asked why he decided to spend so much money on his dogs, he simply replied, I got my dogs some chains so that they could have some drip. I got my dog a chain so he can have some drip. But the spending didn't stop there. When you're 19 and worth 140 million, why not put your Bro. money where your mouth is? Literally. Mello celebrated oh, yeah. getting drafted by the Hornets by purchasing himself a custom diamond yeah. grill from no other than Johnny Dang yeah. himself. He real gleeful. The iced out grill it's reportedly gleeful. cost Lamelo five hundred thousand dollars. God dang. When Mello was asked why he decided yeah, to spend so much money on the grill, he said, Once you get into the NBA, you're surrounded by a bunch of guys who already have all the most expensive stuff. And since I was a rookie, they kept trying to play me like I didn't have it. So I went out and bought the grill from Johnny to show them that I got heavy pockets too. Okay. Was that your first big purchase uh, with, with the NBA contract? Nah, I don't spend my NBA money. I'm smarter than that, man. Fans on Twitter slammed Mello, okay. telling him to get his priorities straight and not blow his first paycheck on what can only be described as a stupid purchase. One fan wrote, Priorities, man. Shame that he hasn't learned from people like Delonte West yet. You see what happens to people who blow their money like that? They end up homeless. Lamelo Crazy. clapped back Lamello, at the fans bro, saying, Lamello been having it, bro. You did, like, way before, like, the NBA and stuff, bro. This man been having this shit. Hasn't spent one cent of his NBA money yet, which I have to say is pretty hard to believe when you see what he bought next. His next purchase was so big, even ESPN had to cover it. Now, 
Most professional athletes, after having a long and successful career, typically buy a share in a sports team. But ballers like LaMelo Ball are a little different, because before Melo was even drafted into the NBA, he purchased the Australian NBL team, the Alara Hawks, for $10 million. And, 19. and he didn't even purchase a small share of the team. No, LaMelo purchased the entire franchise at 18 years old. His 18. manager, Jermaine Jackson, said that LaMelo loves the Illawarra fans, he loves the community, he loves how they opened their arms to him and made us feel like we were at home. When we started hearing about the issues that they were going through, we talked about it and decided, you know what, let's own the whole team. Jackson made it clear that Melo will be locked into his NBA career and fully focused on the game, but the right people will be hired to oversee everything and continue the future and longevity of the Hawks. If you had the kind of money LaMelo has, what would be the first thing you would buy? Man, look, I'll look. This is what I'll do. I'll buy my mama a house, a dream car, whatever, and get my dad the same thing, you know? And I'm gonna just, I'm just stack the rest of it, you know? Of course, I'm gonna go buy some designer and all that type stuff, you know? I'm gonna ice, I'm gonna get iced out, all that, you know? Typical, typical, you know, rich people stuff. I'm gonna just treat myself for the rest of my life, for real. That's, that's all I'm gonna do with my money. I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna give back. I swear to God, I'm gonna give back. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Yeah, that's it. But what would y'all do if y'all had that much money, bro? Let me know down below in the comments. And that's gonna be it for today's reaction. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all want more videos like this, bro, please, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll react to it. Subscribe right now, it's free. At 15K, we will be doing a giveaway and give away $50 on top of that, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on IG, Twitch, links in the description below. Y'all stay safe and I'm out, bro. And take this as motivation like everybody i know my subscribers bro y'all gonna be rich one day bro just keep working hard at what you're doing and it's all gonna come out like it's all gonna you know come to reality your dreams gonna come to reality bro just keep working hard towards it. a little slight motivation for y'all you know what i'm saying i ain't the motivational type I, I can't give no speeches for nothing but i try my best all right bro this video already long as it is i'm out bro i'm out for real <laughs>